Mr. Landsberg, welcome. Good to have you with us. August began in a, in a notably soggy way, and uh, with all due respect to Florida where they're, and South Carolina and Georgia, where they're digging out from the sogginess, it is ending on a pretty positive upswing. What does that tell you? Well, Tyler, I, I think a lot of what's happening in, in, in NASDAQ land is the fact that earnings are really good. I mean, we went from an environment where it was 13 percent negative year-over-year -year, uh, earnings in the fourth quarter, then the you know, first quarter was negative eight. Now it's a positive 12 percent. So they're actually seeing earnings. Obviously, multiples have expanded, but tech earnings have actually been good, whereas the S&P earnings have gone the other way. We're still seeing a deceleration. So that's kind of where the action is, is, is in tech, not obviously just those big, you know, big seven names, but mm -hmm. earnings are really driving some of this as well. Okay, so Michael, how do you suggest that people go? You, you think it's time to rebalance portfolios. How would they go about doing that? Well, I mean, part of it is the fact that, you know, those, those magnificent seven are up, I think, on average 99% uh, in the first eight months of the year. You, you, you probably can't chase them here. I think you have to be realistic about kind of where you are from a time frame standpoint. So we do like some of the other names, uh, you know, that are out there that haven't moved, that are having earnings growth. As I mentioned, the S&P doesn't have any earnings growth, very hard to find. So when you do find it, I think those are some good opportunities to look there to rebalance away from some of the wins that have moved so much into some other names that have been a little bit slower, as well as look out of the country. You're suggesting United Healthcare, McDonald's, uh, Diageo, and Lockheed Martin as some of your choices here right now. What do you think? Do you think that the volatility we've seen in August continues into September? I think you do. I think, obviously, with the inflation numbers are a little hotter, you know, and I think that was a July number that we saw today. I think in August they're a little bit hotter. I think the Fed moves again in August, uh, in, in September. August historically is a, a pretty volatile month to begin with. Uh, a lot of people on Wall Street aren't working, so the volumes are, are down. So part of it's just taking some money, slight profits off the table and allocating to some other places that have had earnings growth, but just haven't had stock price moves as much as some of those big big tech names. So what do I do with those big tech names? Trim there? Yeah, for example, like a name like NVIDIA that's up over 200 some odd percent. We love NVIDIA long term. We've had it long term. But when it goes from 4% of a portfolio to 9% in eight months, it probably makes some sense to take a little bit off the table. We still think it's obviously the best place to be for AI, but AI is not going to be a straight line up. Uh, and I think you've got opportunities to be able to trim, add to other things. You know, we're in the risk management business, and obviously we want to make sure that clients can experience the whole run. People forget it was only uh, last year where all these big Magnificent Seven were down 40, 50, 60 percent in a year. Um, you can have those corrections. You want to be rebalancing to some other parts of the U.S. as well as some other parts out of the country. Well, yeah, NVIDIA in particular went from penthouse to outhouse and back to penthouse.